Um, and another thing that I've done is um, I've identified France. I was so impressed with Francine having identified the responsibility, safety, choices. She, she identified that? That wasn't in the literature before? No, I've wondered no. about that. That's right. She got that. Oh. Um, she didn't have it when I took my initial training in 1990. But 92, when she began to do the second level, was she was seeing, because she could watch things, you know, happen that quickly, um, that there was this pattern. And I was particularly impressed with that because I, at that point, had spent 12 years developing a sexual abuse treatment program, group program for teens and adults. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I made these... Um, assignments for them to share with the group so that they could share what they you know what they'd been through and get the group support and my secretaries initially got really frustrated with me because I'd say oh no we got to do that other one first so we got to reorganize this thing <laughs> and I but it took me like 10 years to figure out the sequence that I needed to have them follow and it was exactly what she found in her two, three years with the MDR. Mm -hmm. And so I was so impressed with that that I then really started monitoring what I saw happen. And so by 1997, I had added three more places in the pattern. So one of the other things I teach is what to watch for. Where is person in, where is your client in the learning process? Most of my consultees tape the sequence to their desk so they can make sure they're getting it until they get it up here. But we have it's a, it's a learning process, and and the more we know as clinicians where the client is in the learning process, and the more they know because in in the handout I give to clients they have the list too, so that they can gain confidence in their capability that it isn't just because you're stuck with anxiety or depression. What do I do? You know, no, here's where I am in this process. And I can see if I'm moving through it, you know, if I can do it on my own, in my own review time, I call it. I suggest people take that. Other people call it meditation, but I want them to be really focused during, <laughs> during. <laughs> um, and, um, gain the confidence that there is a sequence and we can know where they are. So that's part of the training too, is, is my expanded pieces and sequence. So, um, so what it does is it just, you know, it builds on what people get in their basic training and hopefully on, you know, clinicians experience with watching. Okay, well, Good. that sounds great. Right. Well, and confidence in themselves. That's the other oh. thing that I see come out of the training is as I've, you know, I've lined this stuff out, then what, what they like, oh, wow, I really am doing that. And, you know, often they're already doing 